This video is sponsored by EA's Creator Network. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Spiron DK and it's time for our annual custom teams tutorial. I mean, I'm going to show you once again how to create custom squads if you want to use them in your career mode. Perhaps you've picked up the game after Christmas and there's been transfers in January that you want to get into the game uh, before, you know, the rosters are actually updated or perhaps you want to create yourself a super team so you don't have to worry about making transfers. We know the likes of Ronaldo and Messi have made fresh transfers this season so they won't be available for you at the start of the transfer window you'd feel but there is a way around that so uh, let's jump into a quick tutorial on how to change uh, the squads and how you can utilize them in your career mode or kickoff for uh, online play. So you want to jump across here to customize and then you want to jump into profile. Now, I would say load squads. We've already got one. And what you'll want to do is basically create a backup. So we're going to go save squads and we're going to call it custom squads. Right now that you've created that custom squad, it will be the one at the top. Now you need to keep in mind that anytime you do an update to any of your squads, it will utilize the top save one. So if you want to refresh the squads later on, you probably want to load up squads one and do your reset then. Uh, use this one mainly as your backup. But we're going to load custom squads and get in to making some changes. We back out from here. Now we've got options here to edit teams and team sheets. I want you to come in uh, to edit teams first and foremost and download the latest update. There's no update because I've got the current version, but if there was, it would give you a prompt to update the squads. This will give you the latest squads. Now, if you are wanting to reset everything completely, do that on your squads one by using the reset all squads because if you make any other changes for instance if you go in here uh, and change stadium names which you can't do on uh, teams that are licensed but brentford here don't have their stadium in the game at this stage so uh, you could change any of the stadium names you could sit here and, and do all the teams that you want um, but you will get the opportunity to do your own stadium if it's not licensed when you do start your career mode with the uh, the new custom stadiums system uh, but we will just call this one custom stadium just so that you can see it in action if you do go through and update all of the stadium names through the leagues that you play in it gives you a little bit more of an authentic experience but it does take some time once you've done that you can back out and you can apply an exit and that will you know, create all the stadium names for any team you want. You can change all of the stadium names before you even get in to the uh, the customizing of the squad kind of thing. And you could go ahead and, and save that one just as stadiums. And if that stadiums one is a particular file that you have set up, uh, you will only ever want to download updates, not reset all squads. If you reset all squads, it will reset the stadium name. So just use the download updates if you have already done those stadium names. But let's jump in to uh, customizing a squad. So you're going to come in here to club transfers. Uh, we'll pick a team here in League 2 that won't have any money, but obviously with this scenario, money is no issue. We can jump into Barrow, for instance, uh, and then just sort of look... Okay, 63 rated players. Let's get some big name players into this Barrow team. So we back out and then we go and look for some uh, some star players. Uh, obviously, we could look for a Messi at PSG. I don't think you'd be able to sign him in the first transfer window normally, but uh, you have an option here to transfer him across to Barrow. We can send in Barpe and Neymar as well if we really want to. You can pick as many players as you want. Create the team that you want to maybe play with kickoff. You can create a custom team to take your friends on. Uh, we can jump across to Germany. Let's go to Bayern Munich and grab a few players here. Lewandowski can come across and play in League 2. Neuer, Kimmich, Muller. Like, you, you can really grab whoever you want. It, it's the same as it's been over the last few career modes. Uh, you know, creating these state, uh, custom squads for you to play with or in kickoff. So just grab all of the players that you want. We'll grab a few more just so that we've got some uh, players from different team. The Indian League is in FIFA 22. Interesting. Uh, obviously, there's not a lot of licensing here for Italy, unfortunately, but uh, we can grab Juventus. Uh, Dybala can come across here to Barrow. Uh, Chiellini. Delit, Benucci, 
So yeah, that's it. You're just grabbing all the players that you want. Uh, then we'll go into Team Sheets. Come across here to Barrow. And let's have a quick look at... Cool, game plans. Uh, all those players should be sitting here. They are. So Messi can come up. Lewandowski, Neymar, get ourselves a keeper. Benucci, Delit. Don't think we grabbed any left backs or anything like that. But, you know, obviously you can get whatever you want into this team. Create a, a, a super squad if you would like to. Let's put uh, Neymar in at left back. Who cares? You can you can do whatever you want. That's, that's the joy of this. Now, once we're finished making our squad, we can uh, save those changes. And they are now saved, like they've already saved. But what we'll do is we'll go back and, and just double check. Just back all the way out to your profile screen uh, and then save squad. And we'll save it over our custom squad. And, and it's as simple as that. Now, let's cover something else quickly. If I load squads one, that is my default squad. If I start a career mode, it's gonna use those or ask me to download the fixtures. So to utilize this uh, squad in a kickoff sense, uh, we've only got squad one loaded up. Quick play modes, kickoff. Right, so if we're here on the kickoff screen, Barrow at this stage, is gonna have that rubbish squad. Well, not rubbish, you can't say they're rubbish, but you know, it's it's not the superstar squad that we, that we wanted. So we need to back out and we need to go back and load up our custom squad. Right, so we wanna load our custom squads. We go to profile, we load squads and we load up custom squads so that we get that superstar team that we're looking for. We back all the way back out, head off to kickoff mode. And now here's the trick that you want to use for kickoff mode to make sure that those squads are in play. While you're here on this classic match screen, we go here uh, and there is a triangle button there in the middle. Now what that'll do is swap between uh, your normal squad that the, the game wants you to play with, but if you turn the live form off, it'll apply those offline squads. So if we go into Barrow now, we should have the team that we're looking for. There we go. Neymar, Lewandowski, Messi, they're all sitting there. So that's how you can use them in a kickoff sense. You could make two superstar teams if you wanted to uh, for when your mates come around uh, and you want to play, you know, kickoff against two superstar squads. That's kickoff. Let's get into career mode. Right, so as we hit new career mode, this sort of menu should pop up for you. Now, if you don't have the latest squads, it'll ask you there. It will be highlighted and say download later. So if you start a new career mode and you just want to use some default squads, you can download the latest. You can use the initial squads, which are the first squads that are loaded into the game before any downloads. And then the important one here is use current squads. That will be using whatever you've set up in that custom menu. So we'll use current squads. Obviously, we could do it as a manager or a player career mode. Would you like to import your avatar? No. Uh, we're just going to pick any old manager. It doesn't matter because it is just a tutorial. Authentic club. Now, create a club. This isn't going to work. Like, that squad that you've created will be there on that particular team. But if you're creating a club, obviously, you can't have those, uh, those squads. So it will be an authentic club series. And then what we'll do is we'll go across here to Barrow. Four and a half stars. Let's select them. You can do your stadium and all that kind of good stuff now here on FIFA 22, but we'll just advance for now. Uh, everything is fine here. Set it up however you like, advance. Right, so after we get through all the formalities of uh, you know starting up the career mode, we can jump across to squad and we can see right now that uh, we've got that custom team. We've got Neymar, we've got Lewandowski, Messi, they're all in here. Uh, we didn't pick up a right back, Mbappe, a left back. I'm sure he would hate that. Uh, but yeah, that it's, it's as simple as that. Now you can start your career mode. You could sell all these players if, if you really wanted to, uh, you know, get some cash generation. Uh, maybe you just pick a couple of players just to cheekily put on your list and then sell them off day one to make some money for a low tier club. Who knows? It's up to you. It's career mode. You play it any way you want. But there's your, you know, your options to do those custom uh, squads. If you've got any queries, you can leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do about answering any questions that you do have. But that's it for another year. Custom squads on a FIFA 22. Get in there and have a bit of creative customization. We'll see you in the next video. I'm Spiron DK, it's five o'clock somewhere, 
and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for one dollar a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that one dollar a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You, you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos